OK, so in this video, we're going to go through uh, an integral of 2x squared minus 4x minus 9 over x plus 1, x minus 2. And the reason why we're going to go through this example uh, is because it's a little bit different to what we've done previously in the previous examples. And that's because the order of the numerator is x squared and the order of the denominator is x squared. And so you cannot go directly into partial fractions with this. We've got to go through a process of polynomial division first in order to simplify the fraction down. So it adds an extra layer of complexity to it. So what I've got to do first is have a look at that fraction. And I'm going to multiply out the denominator. So x squared. Uh, plus 1x, take away 2x, and minus x, and then take away 2. So I want to use polynomial division to simplify this fraction down. So this is effectively an improper fraction. So um, if we set up our polynomial division grid, we're dividing by the x squared minus x and minus 2. We want to get 2x squared. So this would have had to have been a 2 in the multiplication grid. So 2 lots of x squared makes the 2x squared. 2 lots of minus x is minus 2x. 2 lots of minus 2 makes minus 4. Now we've got minus 2x, but we want minus 4x. So we're going to have to take away another 2x to get to minus 4x. And we've got minus 4, but we want minus 9. So we're going to have to take away another 5. So this is our remainder. So we can now write this fraction as 2. And then it's plus minus 2x minus 5 over the x plus 1x minus 2. So I'll put it back into factorised form. OK. Now, because that minus 2x uh, minus 5, I could factor the minus out. Um, I'm not going to bother in this case. OK, I don't want to have to deal with a mo um, negative there and then two positive fractions, OK? So I don't have to worry about having a bracket. So I can now say this integral will be the same as integrating 2 plus minus 2x minus 5 over x plus 1 x minus 2. OK, so we've got that far through. So what I've reduced this problem to is integrating 2. Well, that's easy. But I now need to integrate this minus 2x minus 5 over x plus 1x minus 2. Okay? And in order to do that, I've got to split that into partial fractions, which I can now do because it's no longer an improper fraction. So let's get on with that. So the minus 2x minus 5 over x plus 1 x minus 2 will be equivalent to a over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 2. So remember your next line of working, multiplying both sides by the x plus 1, x minus 2. We minus 2x minus 5 is equivalent to a lots of x minus 2 plus b lots of x plus 1, just as we've always done. So now let's start choosing values of x to knock out brackets. So if I let the x be minus 1, that will knock out that bracket there. So we've got minus 2 lots of minus 1. Well, that's just 2. Take away 5 is minus 3. And then we've got minus 1 take away 2, so that's minus 3. So minus 3a. So that means the a would have had to have been 1. And so if we let x be 2 this time, knock out that bracket, we'll get minus 2 lots of 2, so minus 4. Take away 5 is minus 9. The 2 knocks out that bracket. We've got 2 plus 1 is 3, so that'd be 3b. So b will be minus 9 divided by 3, so minus 3. Excellent. OK, so this integral will now become the integral of 2 plus um, a over x plus 1, so 1 over x plus 1, plus b, so minus 3 over x minus 2. OK. We're now in a position where we can integrate. 
So we've got the 2 integrating to 2x. We've got the 1 over x plus 1 will integrate to log of x plus 1. And then we've got the minus 3 over x minus 2, so minus 3 lots of log x minus 2 plus a constant c. Okay, so that's how we can integrate something like this. You're needing, really needing to spot that we've got an improper fraction, so we'd have to use polynomial division first to get to that stage, then partial fractions to get to that stage, and then we're ready to integrate.